not taking his calls. He's been over 30 minutes now and he's not taking any of my calls. This is 9.30. Kevin has never stayed out this late, except I'm with him. Where could he be? And why is he not showing my calls? Kelvin, where are you coming from? I am asking you a question and you're ignoring me. Will you just leave my way? What until you tell me where you've been? For the last time, leave my way now. And if I refuse, what are you going to do? Beat me? Huh? you to kill me. That is what I want from you. Kevin, what did I do to you to deserve this kind of treatment from you? What? You are disturbing me. Just shut up. I have not even started and you're already complaining. Kevin, you will know no peace in this house until you tell yourself the truth. You should be ashamed of you're, yourself. You're making a hell of noise for God's sake. You're making noise. Kevin, I want you to beat me. Kelvin, I want you to beat me. Beat me, beat me this night. I'm so disappointed in you. Look at who he's talking. You are a monumental disappointment. And I promise you, you're going to pay for every pain you've cost me. Beat me. For a shame. This is what I want. I want you to beat me. This is what I want. Can't be beat me, guys. Shame, guys. Can't be beat me. Kill me. That is what I want. Kill me. I take my death. Kill me. Can't be kill me. Can't be beat me. I take my dead body to my mother. Kill me. Look at this hand. It's very big, like King Kong hand. If I give you something, yeah. If I give you something, then you will die. Kill me. What are you putting for? So disappointed in you. Give me your shameless! Give me your shameless! Give me your going away! Give me! Give me! Where do you think you're going to? I think I'm talking to you, Stan! Where do you think you're going to? What is your problem? What is it? Kevin, I want you to beat me. You must beat me in this house! Why are you doing this? Huh? Didn't you hear what I just said? I said you must beat me! <laughs> Say, I'm going to be a fool to lay my hands on you. I thought you loved me. Hmm? But thank God you've shown your true color. You're just, you're just, you're just, you're just a waste. What would you do? Thank God you've actually shown your true color. Kelvin, what will you do? Cancel our wedding. Please go ahead and cancel it. I wouldn't have accepted this relationship if I had known that you are a Casanova. A egot. You know what? You're going to regret this. I am not going to regret anything. You are the one who is going to regret it. You are the one, Kevin. You are the one who is going to regret it. He has renewed everything. Everything. I need someone. He has renewed everything. I saw how devastated he was yesterday. I believed him when he said he's not having an affair with his secretary. 
I know Kelvin more than any other person. Zara must have acted out of ignorance and misconception. He was not happy throughout our stay yesterday. When I see what happened at my friend's hotel, you know, it was too crowded and I don't like it like that. So I decided we'll come back here and then talk. It's quiet here though. It's fine. Okay, you see, it's hot so bad when you trust someone and the person is behaving somehow. Okay? I don't see the reason I should be sleeping with my secretary. You know, that memory will never leave my thought for the rest of my life. I believe you because I know what you can do. It's quite unfortunate she misunderstood what she saw. And that only means one thing. She's been suspecting you. You see, Zara will never display that kind of character. She has not done it before. I think someone somewhere is trying to feed her with some kind of information, which is not good. You could be right. Lorita, you caused it. You left me. You abandoned me because of your father. Have I not told you what happened? I was kept indoors. And you? If I were you, I would have kept visiting. I would have been a dead man if I had tried that. Rita, you see, Zara met me when I really need money. But you were there when I had nothing. And I still gave you my virginity, isn't it? You're right. You know, the memories of that night would never leave my thought. I really miss you. You broke my heart. And I'll never forgive you for that. You caused it. Your father nearly killed me. Meaning that you cannot lay down your life for the one you love? You're guilty of the same accusation you're laying on me. You would have decided to come out to look for me. Okay, okay, okay. Now you are trying to justify yourself. Kelvin, you are the man. And it's your responsibility to show me that you love me. To prove it to me. Rita, it's okay. You wait. He is still the same Kelvin that I used to know. So gentle and caring. What is it? I'm worried about Zara. The devil is about to destroy her relationship with Kelvin. What is it again this time? She called on the phone just now and was crying that Kelvin came back home very late at night yesterday. He had a date with the secretary and came back home very late. He had a date with his secretary and came back home very late? That's what Zara said. How did she know he was with his secretary? She said when he asked him where he was coming from that late at night, he didn't say anything to her. He didn't answer her. And because of that, she concluded he was with his secretary? Don't you think she's making a big mistake? I don't know. But I'm confused. I'm confused with the whole thing that's happening. I, I think... I think um, Zara have lost it, seriously. And she said um, Kelvin had even tried him to end their relationship. That is serious. That's why I need to see Kelvin. I think I need to see Kelvin. And tell him what? Um, I need to hear his own side of the story. 
I need to ask him or confirm what Zara has been saying. Like you rightly said, Zara might might be making a mistake. I don't think seeing Kelvin will make any difference. For me, I think your friend Zara is a problem here. I have to see Kelvin. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Yes, come in. Um, just give me some a few minutes, I'll call you back. Yeah. Oh, sorry for the disturbance, sir. It's okay, what is it? I brought you this. What is it for? My resignation letter. Your resignation letter? Sir, I told you about the threat I got from your wife. Why don't you want to remind me? What is wrong with you? You're giving me your resignation letter. And for information, I'm not even married to her. So stop calling her my wife. Sir, I am the only child of my parents. I don't want anything to happen to me. Uh, please, sir. I can get you another secretary if you want. Do not get me angry, okay? As long as I'm still here, she has no right over anything here. So go back to your seat. Please, sir, try to understand me. My parents asked me to quit. Can I talk with your father? Please, sir, he's of no use. My dad will not listen to you, and even my mom too. You've been a good boss to me, and I really appreciate it. I need to leave now, please. Thank you, sir. I'll have to leave. Command me anyhow for my own car. You are talking to a big boy. Ah. No, 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 no. It's 20,000 naira. Do you know how much it costs me to buy fuel? I will spend 15,000 naira on fuel alone. Huh? I know. It's 20,000 naira or nothing. What is it? So you are here. Eh? Come to the front now, Biko. Uh, Biko, let, let me call you back, okay? What is it? Eh? Didn't you see that I was on a call? Whether you're on a call or not is none of my business. I warned you, but you refuse to listen to me. Come to the front and receive your visitors. Who are you going to visit us? Which visitors are you talking about? So you want me to answer that question, right? Biko, I can be asking something at all. See me see my local trouble. This woman, she, she just makes a mountain out of a moor hill. Eh? Every trivial matter, she must bring quarry. Just to receive visitors. Quarry. Ha. This Ogbanje, I'm sure Ogbanje is, is disturbing her. Wait. Where is your husband? Don't disturb me, people. Your brother is coming. Officers, go in there and arrest him. Arrest my, uh, my my husband for what? What has he done? That is him. Officers, get him arrested. Get who arrested? Huh? What is going on here? Who do you want them to arrest? What is the problem? You, Peter. Peter, you are a thief. Oh, you are a Peter. You are a thief. Yes. How? You are a thief. Give me the car keys. Give me the key to this car. Which car are you talking about? Oh, my boy, car? Eh? You want me to give you my car keys? How? Your car. Did I not warn you? Did I not warn you? Omega, Omega. Oh, no, she. <laughs> Look, officers, if it is because of my car that you people came here to make arrest, this is what I call wrong arrest. Mm -hmm. ah, this car belongs to me. As a matter of fact, ah! it was my late brother that left it for me. He died. And I inherited everything I had. How hey! can you arrest me over my own thing? You are a thief! How can you say it's your car? 
My brother's car, your car. Uh, uh, Lizzie, why are you doing this? Huh? Officer, why are you doing this? This man is wasting our time. He's wasting our time. Get him arrested. Let him get the car keys. And let's go to the station at once. Uh, Mr. Peter, you are under arrest for unlawful possession. And now you have to cooperate with us. We don't want to use force on you. Where is the key to the car? No, but officer, I don't understand. How can my own thing become an unlawful thing? How can I be in possession of my own thing unlawfully? How is, how what is your thing? You don't, know, you don't know where your thing is. Peter, you don't know where your thing is. Peter, this car is not no, yours. I know you are like this. You are a corrupt person. Peter. You are talking of car, you are talking of Peter. something. Give me the car, give me the car. Give them this key. Give me the key. Eh? Man, he's a fool. Never know something. Look, you don't have to insult me. You don't have to insult me. Okay. Officers, if this woman see him again, arrest her with her husband. Uh, arrest me for yes. what? Yes! What did I do? I oh, yeah, let them arrest me. You don't know what you did. Let them for arrest me. Peter. Eh? Yes! For marrying Peter. Oh, yeah, no, let them Get arrest me. Mr. Peter, can we have the car keys? You are wasting our time, please. I, I, Get I, him handcuffed. Eh? Handcuffed? Oh, no, 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 you don't need to handcuff me. I, I'll, I'll give you. Give me! What is where? What is where? You want us to have to coffee? Uh, what? Eh. I don't want them to. You are wasting. Let's go. So you get the key. Come. Hey, you yeah. shut up, boo. Idiot. Hey. Yeah, move. Move. I said it. That's another move. man. That you are not. A Just keep quiet. No, no, you want them to handcuff me? I said move. move. Ah, oh, you are fearing for handcuffs. I'm going to be a man now. Mr. Mamu. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I want them to handcuff me. I said it. Hey. Hey! A man that cannot act like a man. What is he? Woman rapper? Useless man. Senseless man. Foolish man. Shameless man. That is what you are. I know of you. Hey! The only property that we got from the late chief is now gone. I have all the Aka. Hey! All my sufferings, all my efforts is now useless. Hey! Peter, you must pay for this. You must pay for this! How can you reap what you did not sow? How can you claim what does not... I've never been embarrassed and humiliated in my life. You can imagine someone like Zara accusing me of sleeping with my secretary. Even to an extent of threatening my secretary to resign. And she resigned this morning. I'm left alone here without a secretary. You can imagine. Oh, then, this one time, seriously. Well, I tried talking to Zara about it, but she kept her ground that she's sleeping with the secretary. I think I am done. I can't continue with such a relationship. I am done with this relationship. I, I, I mean, I've come to an end of this don't, don't say that, please. Don't say that. I, I, I know too well that Zara made a mistake. I'm pleading with you to please give her some time. She will definitely realize her mistake. I cannot be having anything to do with someone who doesn't trust me. Zara has actually betrayed the trust I have for her. She has betrayed the trust. You betrayed yourself, my daughter did not betray you. Yes, would it have happened if you were not caught kissing your secretary in this office? Mama, don't say that. You've not heard from him. What are you saying? That Zara is a fool or she does not know what she's saying? Mama, that's not what I said. Mama, there's a problem on the ground. All we need to is how to settle this problem so that there will be peace. What kind of peace are you talking about? How would you feel if you were my daughter? He's here telling you that my daughter betrayed him. Why is he the one that betrayed my daughter? Mama. Will you shut up? Shut it up because I'm not here for you. He has mouth. Let him speak for himself. Yeah? I hope he's not what I'm thinking. I know you have to answer. What are you doing here? I hope you're not having an affair with your friend's fiance. Mama, please! What are you doing in your friend's fiance's place? I want to know. Answer me. Um, Kelvin, I, I think I I need to go now. I really have to go. 
To where? To where? Where are you going? You have to explain to my daughter what you are doing in Afghanistan's office. That woman, I, no problem, can I see it? Where are you going? It's a question. Sit down. Mama, I, I have to go now. I you have, have to I'm go. I'm going to my office now. Sorry, Mama. Happy away. Mama, I can't wait. What we be will be. No matter the challenges and obstructions, mm. no matter the Lord day, have mercy. what we be will be, what we be will be, what we be will be, what we be will be. So why plan evil for a harmless fin? Yes, mom. Kate, mom, are you serious? Okay. Mama Reggie. Mama, I'll call you back. Kate is not even on my side. Hey, my jam! If you're coming here because you want to tell me how you insulted my mother at my husband's office, well, you need to do a U turn and go back to your house because she already told me what happened. I thought you have sense. Did you just call me senseless? You can give me whatever interpretation you want. So you actually sent your mother to go and insult Kevin instead of being on the side of settlement, right? What stupid settlement are you talking about? Is that why you insulted my mother over a matter that is not even yours? Is that all you have to say? Yes, I am so, so disappointed in you. I thought you were my friend, but you were busy stabbing me at the back and pretending to be a good person. You're the one who has disappointed yourself by allowing your mother to cause a rift between you and a man who is supposed to marry you. Let me tell you one thing. How will you learn? to mind my business from today onwards. Fine! I can handle this situation all by myself. You don't, I don't need your assistance. Good luck, my good friend. Go! Good luck. And if you think this is the end between me and Kelvin's relationship, then you're, you're making a mistake. Because I am going to fight tooth and nail to get my man back. End your progress, bastard us! You come and act all nice in front of me and then you stab me at the back. Rubbish. <sighs> Zara and her mother have really shown me their true color. I'm happy all this are happening now. This is a clear sign that Zara is not my wife. Thank God I found my true love. A woman who loves me with all her heart. Who loves me? for who I am and not what I am. She has never betrayed my trust in her. That is the kind of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. Yeah. You can force us to the river but cannot force it to drink. You can fight Within your powers, but what will be will be. You cannot break a bond that is so strong. A bond built in true love. A bond built in true love. I've never been embarrassed like this in my life. Do you know that her mother accused me of sleeping with Kelvin too? Are you serious? I am telling you the truth. Kelvin could not say a word. The woman was just ranting and ranting. Then she must be the one misleading her daughter. She is, because she even calls Zara immediately to tell her that I was insulting her and abusing her. By the time I got to Kelvin's house, Zara was already waiting to attack me. Did she? She belittled me. She gave me the highest insult of my life. Is she with her senses? Why would she attack you for trying to settle issues between she and Kelvin? And I regret going to that office. And I told her that she, she will regret her action. She will live to regret that action. The action she took towards me, she will live to regret it. No, 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 no. No. She didn't get it right. Who then will stand for her? Who else? 
Her mother? She will definitely stand for her. Kate, do you think Kelvin will end the relationship between him and Zara because of this? I don't know, because I don't care anymore. Whatever Zara sees in that relationship, let her take it. Please, I'm tired. I need to rest. No, mom, he's not yet back. Mom, I told you, don't worry yourself about Kevin. I can undo the situation. Hey, but hey, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Pack your things and leave this house. And you have 30 minutes to do that. Do you hear me? Do you get that? And what if I refuse? You have no choice, my dear. Since you have the guts to tell your mother to come to my office, to insult me, I am done with you. Kevin, you lie. Oh, so you think you can just toss me out like some piece of trash because of that whore you call a secretary, right? Hey, 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 listen. And listen good. Pack your things and leave this house. And your 30 minutes start counting from now. Kevin. I am going nowhere. You have not had anything. I am going nowhere. Or you think throwing me out will be that easy for you? Then you need to have a rethink. Don't push me. Kevin, I think it's high time I tell your mother what is going on. Do not push me. Pack your things and leave my house. You're not yet my wife. So calling my mother will not change my mind. I warn you. Let's watch and see how you Mom, mommy's packing my stuff. Yeah, your mom wants to I touch that for now, just splash it on the floor. I'm even helping you back in the boat. So it's easier for you. If I touch that for now, I'll smash it on the floor. Don't joke with me, yo. Mommy has refused to take the phone from me. Okay, ma. If you want, call my mom from now to next millennium. Huh? You must leave this house. You must leave this house. Then you will have to bond me out of this place. Give me that phone. For what? Yes, I'm very busy now. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Please, don't, don't touch any of my things. Oh. Don't touch any of my things. If you don't leave my way, eh, I'm going to break you into pieces. Do you understand? Hey, just tell me that you want to kill me. Tell me I want to kill me. I tell me I want to kill me. 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 Just kill me. Just say you want to kill me. Kill me that you want to my cops. I can't take it to my mother. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Who am I carrying me? Who am I carrying me? Who am I carrying me? I'm not going anywhere. Stop it, my stop. I'm not going anywhere. Who am I carrying me? Hello, mom. Yes, I'm going to somewhere. Mom, if I return and see her in that house, it's going to be something else. Only. Mom, it's nothing. That one is nothing. It's just three years relationship. It's just three years relationship and I'm done with her. Mom, Zara is not a wife material. She was only pretending. Okay? She was just only pretending. Mom?
day You can pass the house to the river But cannot force it to drink You can fight within your powers But what will be I warned you that you wouldn't listen. Oh my God, hey. You see this thing, eh? Hmm? Lizzie will not go scot free. I must deal with her. Eh? She, she cannot get that cow. That cow, she will never get it. Okay. Empty threats. Eh? You're just making useless noise. More. Empty threat, useless noise. Do you know what they did to me in that police cell? Small boys, oh, rastichi. They were giving me uppercut. Uppercut. Imagine one small one. They said that one is, is your guy. That, that one, he, he, he asked me to, to be funny him like this, funny him like this. Can you imagine? Hmm? In fact, uh, this thing that Lizzie did, uh, no, 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 no. I will so deal with her. Biko. I did not say you should not take that look. Before you do that, you have to give me my money first. Because I want you. Money? Which money are you talking about? Ken Kebu, which money am I talking about? The 5,000 I used to bail you. 5,000? You mean you carry the whole 5,000 naira to give to police in Nigeria? You don't know that bail is free? This but the general police has said it that police is your friend. So bail is free. Why would you go and pay money to bail me? Eh? They owe five thousand naira. After you say you don't have money, you are laughing. Do you know why I'm laughing? I just want to laugh because I don't want to vent my angers on you. You know, yeah? Just give me that five thousand naira before I lose it. You, you you see yourself, your angers. So it's not even one anger you have for me. You have plenty of angers for me. But did they ask you to, 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 to spend money to bail me? Did you take permission from me? Don't ask me for money. Oh. Peter! Peter! That's my name. See, eh? If you don't give me that 5,000 naira today, you will see the other side. You of can't me. do anything. You're my wife. Wait, what are you going to do to me that they didn't do to me in the cell? You're my wife. They're threatening me. My friend, go inside and boil water so that you can massage myself. Yaku, yaku, yaku. All the places that are around, join, go join. I cannot release them with you. What are you talking? My friend, go, go and boil water. <laughs> it is not only massage, you know. I will sing you lullaby to you. I like singing. I'm not. Go. Eh? Me, I don't know if you are. You can't watch him. Look at this woman, oh. You, just, you are just misbehaving. Me, your husband, I pay. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry. At night, don't come and do your duties to straighten me up. Then you will know that I am Peter. Eh? Idiot. If I you, you are read yours. How can you read what you did not sow? How can you claim what does not belong to you? Hey, greediness first, then destruction follows. Come out your eye of a waiting, no be your owner. Evil people everywhere. Hey, wicked people everywhere. They're trolling like hungry wolves. Attacking the innocent boy, evil people everywhere. No, hey, he's not yet back. Yeah, I need him to now. Actually, I need him. And what are you still doing here? I thought I told you I don't want to see you when I come back here. What are you sitting in my house? And I remember telling you that I am not going anywhere. Hmm. Zara, you're pushing me. You're pushing me. When I will react, you might not like it. You might not like it. You better carry your things and leave my house. I am not going anywhere. So after climbing me up and down, you want to throw me away. And I paid you for climbing you up and down. I paid you. I took care of you and your family and all the things I did for you in the past. So stop talking rubbish. Leave this house before it's too late. Kelvin, you must want this relationship. Okay, you want to try me, right? You have to kill me. That's the only way you can kill me. Then you will die. Then I am going to kill you. That will be the solution. Kelvin, kill me and end everything. Just kill me. Because I am not going anywhere. You must marry me whether you like it or not. You think you can just choose me and throw me out like some piece of shit? Rubbish. 
You can force a house to the river, but cannot force it to drink. You can fight within your powers, but what will be, will be. You cannot break a bond that is so strong. A bond built in true love. A bond built in true love. Please get up, we need to talk. Kelvin, mm. we need to talk. I don't want to. I don't just want to relax. Why are you disturbing my peace? Please just hear me out. Kelvin. You're disturbing me. What is this, man? Kelvin, I am sorry. Okay? I'm sorry for everything. I did all those things because I love you. And I can't afford to share you with another woman. Children. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I beg you in the name of God. Please just forgive me. You're just wasting your time begging, okay? <laughs> Kelvin. You know, you know how my fat is. It might blind you, it might make you faint. It won't make me to fat on your face. I'm sorry now. Please just hear me out. I'm sorry. Just forgive me, please. Stop trying. Stop trying. Kelvin. You better stop this shit. She is shaking me up. Hmm. Kelvin. 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 Stop fucking me now. I'm not a girl. What's a girl now? Sorry. You did not go to work today. What happened? My dear, which work? I resigned though. Why? Ha. I thought you said the man is treating you well. It's not the man that is my problem. It's that useless girl that he wants to marry. She accused me of having an affair with my boss. So? Ha. My dear. My life is so important to me. I don't want to die, you. She threatened to kill me. And you know that I'm the only child of my parents. I can't lose my life now. <laughs> what did the man say? The man? Ha. The man doesn't have any problem. He said I should not quit. But I don't have any. I, I can't even wait because I don't know what this girl has in mind to do. <sighs> Are you really having an affair with him? You know you're my friend. You can really confine him. <sighs> Helen, are you the one asking me this? Oh, you should know me by now. I can't have an affair with my boss. Oh, it's my daughter! Calm down. Who are you, this idiot? I got to punish you today. So you think I will allow you go scratch you after ruining my relationship, right? Madam, I didn't do you anything. I'm not having an affair with your husband. You are very stupid. You are an idiot. Oh, you think you can cost me my relationship and then go? Do you know her? Is she your friend or your sister? She's my friend. This imbecile, yeah. She has cost me my relationship. My wedding was fixed for next month. But guess what? It's no longer happening. Because she wouldn't allow my husband be! Please, she wouldn't allow down. my please, husband please, be! Please. I'll just allow you go like that. I'll just, I'll just allow you go spot me like that. Come down. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. Madam, please. 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 Wait, 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 please turn, turn, turn around, turn around. Let's go back to the house. Let me back to where you 
Please hurry. The book I've been asking Rita to read to read. I am going to read it today. It is good. Must be an interesting. Hello. Give my money. No delay me. Give my money. Please, but I'm coming. Don't leave me few minutes. Let me pick something. I'm coming. I forgot something. Oh my god. Um, Rita, you forgot the book. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I did. Yes, yes, yes. Can I take a look at the picture? Oh, I'm in a hurry. Later, later. Later. Why is she hiding the picture? What are you going to do now? I'm waiting for my mother to come. So you have to wait for your mother to come before you can take a decision? No, not that. I just want to satisfy my mother's wish. I can take my decision myself. I mean... You know why I'm saying this? Why? I have come to take what is mine. Zara should go where she belongs. You see, I'm just doing this because of my mother. Okay? I don't want her to start blaming me for anything. Zara has crossed her boundaries and she must face the consequences. So 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 what if what if she says otherwise? How? If she insists you must marry Zara. The decision is mine, and that's final. I've made my own decision. Okay? Does Kate know that we are close to each other? Not yet. I don't want her to know now. Remember this? To keep this. I remember the day I deflowered you. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm so happy I found you again. Thank you. This picture. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back. Wow. Um, I'm hungry. Do you mind if we go to somewhere and eat? What response are you expecting? No. Of course not. Yes. <laughs> slap is not enough. What is slap? Should have killed her. Mommy, don't you trust your daughter? Don't you know what I can do? Mommy, you needed to see what I did to that girl. Mom. If not for the fact that her friend was there, I would have killed her and buried her. That is it. <laughs> don't you I, trust me? I am solidly behind you. Yes, like a rock. So don't be scared. Even his mother is solidly behind me. She says she's coming today. Which means you are 100% sure. Safe. Safe, very safe. Hey, you see that boy? I will never allow you to step out of that house. You will not take an inch out of that house. After using me, he wants to dump you like a piece of land. It will not work. That's what I told you. 
He cannot throw me out. It's not even possible. After three years of, of relationship. Yes. Where? When I'm still alive. It will never work. Tell me the reason why you're afraid. But mom, what if that secretary is using a charm on me? You know girls of these days, what, what they cannot do doesn't exist. You can't trust them. Zara, you just got me angry right now. You are talking of sham. Sham! Hey, hey! You are talking about sham where I am. When it comes to the worst, I will take the native doctor's shrine and the native doctor straight into my house. Yes, when I give him money, he brings it. I give him money, he brings it. I have my money. Of course, I have your money. Hey! Can you come up and throw me out of his house? Let me see. He cannot do that. He cannot. He can never try it. I will not allow him to do it, to use you like a piece of rag and dump you. It will never happen. I am proud to be your daughter. Very, very proud also to be your mother because my duty is to protect you and give you a good life. Yes. That's how you should be. And don't talk about sham again, bam, bam, bam. Don't, don't go that way. Because when you call that sham, my head turns. Yes. Because I will collect the shrine and the native doctor and bring them here. So they don't have to go anywhere wow. before I begin to operate. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have taken it. You will just toss me, toss me out like, like a piece of trash. It will not work. It will not work. Okay. Never. Shlomo, hmm? I'm hungry. Did you cook? Or has it? Can you put it in your food? Hi. Five wraps. Hi. I mount them one after the other. Please have this while I prepare dinner. Thank you, my dear. How is your mom? Oh, she's very fine. I went to visit her today and she actually asked about you. Oh, yeah. I'll get to see her someday. I am sure she'll be happy to see you too. Mm. I'll open the kitchen. Okay, my dear. Okay. Thank you. You're she's such a good girl. I don't know what has gotten over my son. No. He has to stop saying that girl. That demon of a girl. No, not in this house. That is my wife. You can fight within oh. your powers. No. But what, what will be, will be. You cannot break. Thank you so much. You actually made my day. I should be the one thanking you for accepting to do this for us. You're welcome. You're still the same which I used to know back in the days. Not really changed. Even though we lost contact, you know, but you're still the same person I used to know back in the days. And you're still the same Kelvin of yesterday. I'm so happy to have found you again. Likewise here. Come on. You should get going then. It's late already. Okay then. See you. Good night. So strong, hey. a bond built in true love. love, a bond built in true love. Yeah. Cause no matter what, hey. no matter the fight, no matter the fight. Hey. and the obstacles, hey. what we be will be, what we be will be, what we be will be, what we be will yeah. be, no matter the challenges and obstructions. Who has she been since afternoon? Her number has been switched off. Look at the time. And she's not yet back. Rita is seeing someone, but she doesn't want me to know about it. I'm sure that picture she was hiding has a connection to this. What happened to your phone? What happened to your phone? Sorry. 
my battery ran off. I knew you'd be worried. Who are you saying? He's my friend. And you don't want to tell me about it? Look, I was going to tell you. But the thing is, I'm still taking my time to you know, get to know you before I discuss all the thing. Wait till you're in my house. I need to know wherever you go to each time you leave the house. In case of anything. Not for any other reason. Just for your safety. I understand. No vex. Don't worry. I'll tell you about him soon. Okay. Let me go in and freshen up. I'll join you soon. I said it. I need to find out who the person is before I get myself into what I don't know about. So, what is he doing outside till this time of the night? Mm. It should have been seeing me. And to think of it, he's not even picking my cups. Mm, don't worry yourself, he will soon be back. I'm already getting used to it. Mm -hmm. It's not true. You won't get used to this. Ah, let him come back and tell me where he has been till this time of the night. Oh. Hi, Mom. Good yeah. evening. Where are you coming back from? At this time of the night? Mom, I went to visit a friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that anything the matter? So, you come back at this time of the night and you asking me, is anything the matter? <laughs> Mom, <laughs> what are you saying? What I'm saying, Kelvin, is that you should stop visiting that girl. That's what I'm saying. Is that what she told you? Hmm. Nobody told me anything, Kelvin. I am judging you by what I see. Look at the time you're returning home. Is that the way I raised you? Oh. Um, as you can see, I'm so tired and I don't, I don't have strength to talk much. Seriously? I need, I need to rest. I'm making noise, right? I never said so, Mom. Calvin, nobody sleeps this night. Until I finish the meeting I want to have with both of you. No meeting for me, oh. Yes, because I'm going to rest. Oh. Calvin! No meeting, no. I need to rest, please. Calvin! Mom, I need to rest. You are walking out of me, Calvin. Calvin, I will come to that bedroom and I will pour hot water on you. What rubbish! Mommy, you have seen it now. No, 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 no. I didn't bring him up this way. It will stop. You said you are going to get used to what? To my son returning home at night? What can I do? <laughs> I'm off to work. Are you not taking your breakfast? No, I'm late already. Uh -oh. What is it? Mom, Kevin has refused to take his breakfast. I don't know what I've done to him. He's hell bent on ruining my life. 